Hello everybody, Chris and Joe here with the good old gamer and today Nvidia has finally unleashed their GTX 1060 graphics cards. So first thing straight off the bat, the cards are pretty much what they said that they were going to be relatively close to the GTX 980 in performance, which is roughly 15% faster than the 970, which is therefore roughly 15% faster than the RX 480, which is very similar to the GTX 970. So there we go. So they did a good job there. However, going around the internet and looking for these things in stock, I have yet to find one that has been available today at the 249 price point. Surprise, surprise. Uh, they are all at 299 or greater. And uh, general consensus around the internet and in most of the reviewers' opinions who did tackle the price point issues, they pretty much said this card's good, but it's a $250 card. So do not jump on these things at $300. Uh, most reviewers, the consensus is it is not worth that price premium. But uh, Joe, what what's your takeaways from this so far? Well, uh, you know, the same take as I had before when we talked about it before the reviews. You know, the reality is that, like you said, the price point is $250, but you can't find a card at $250, which means you're going to spend $300 for a marginal performance increase over uh, well, what I believe to be a marginal increase over the RX 480 because some of the benchmarks and stuff that we see, really, if you do call it what they do, a cost per frame analysis, you're not talking huge differences. So uh, I think it's it's not worth the money at $300. I'm not even sure it's worth the money at $250, not with Polaris sitting there at $200 for a four gigabyte model. Um, now people might say, why wouldn't you go with a four gigabyte model, go with the eight gigabyte model? Well, the reason for that is because there doesn't seem to be any great difference between the four gigabyte and the eight gigabyte model in terms of performance. Because uh, initially when the RX480 was released, all they had were the eight gigabyte models. There wasn't uh, four gigabyte models to be reviewed for comparison, but that's recently kind of fixed itself and they can see now having the four gigabyte models that you're not talking about huge differences between the eight gigabyte and the four gigabyte, at least not at you know your standard resolutions like 1080p and whatnot. So um, I think right now it may be a good card. But... Well, my only real caveat is AMD is really shitting the bed with their product availability. I think they have really, really hurt themselves by not flooding the market, having these things available at every store, all the time, 24-7, anybody who wants one can get one. Because I agree, price to performance, the RX 480 is a superior value. Um, the, everybody did the cost to benefit analysis. At $300, cost per frame on the 1060 is about $5 per frame. And at $200, the RX 480 is at about like $3.80 per frame, which is a pretty sizable jump in performance per dollar. So, because you're talking about like a buck twenty-five difference or cheaper, and uh, per frame that you get. So, but I just think that AMD, because of the limited availability, they launched and they were there, and we have yet to see them come back. I know the AIBs are starting to get theirs ready, and I think that's going to be the next wave. Maybe AMD sent them all out to you know ASUS and MSI and Gigabyte and said, "Hey, put these in your cards," and maybe they ran out for reference models, but. That's just poor planning. Oh, I agree. That's just poor planning uh, from AMD's side. They should have had enough to keep people happy, or at least, you know, every couple of days, like they were doing with the 1080s and the 1070s. Yeah, they were hard to get, but every few days, one or two would pop up here and there, and you could still kind of get them if you were really watching, but you can't do that with the 480. Well, I mean, that, that aside, I mean, and that is a good point, because availability makes all the difference in the world. But the bottom line is is that you need to be patient and wait for the card to be available if it's not because you are going to gouge yourself on price to get a performance you're not going to see. Now, if you're gaming at 1440 or trying to game at 4K, this is obviously not the card for you. Although, in DirectX 12 uh, or Vulkan, the 480 is comparable to the 1060. It does appear that way. Well, in uh, Vulcan, Doom is a little bit, uh, the RX 480 is actually significantly faster than the GTX 1060. Doom is the most well-optimized game in possibly PC history ever since Windows. Yeah. I mean, it is the most polished, this is the best case scenario. Um, so technically, if developers really, really want to go ahead and utilize the new APIs to their absolute fullest, the RX 480 will be more powerful than the GTX 1060. 
Now, if we look at other benchmarks like Ashes of the Singularity, which is still, uh, you know, heavily favored for AMD for the most part, it brings the cards on parity. They're basically identical. Um, so it looks like in the newer APIs, so going forward, uh, the RX 480 will be greater than or equal to the GTX 1060. And I, I guess our point was, you know, because it's cheaper, it just doesn't really make sense to get the 1060 unless there's, uh, you know, just not enough of the uh, 480s available for you to get. That'd be my right. Point. And it's actually kind of interesting to note that this is probably one of the only times in history that I can think of where going with a cheaper model like the 480 over a 1060, which is, you know, supposed to be more powerful, uh, the 480 will actually end up future-proofing you better, um, or at least for your value. It will your Its value will increase over time. Yes, I can agree. Because... Yeah, because of Vulcan and whatnot. So it's actually really interesting. So, you know, as far as I'm concerned, there is absolutely zero reason to go with a 1060. Go with your 480. Because even the 1060 is not going to get you 4K gaming. It can maybe get you some 1440p, but it's not going to be the guaranteed 60 frame lock you're thinking of. It's just not there for that yet. So uh, I would wait if you're trying to do that. Or, and for now, stick to 1080p, 1440p at your lower frame rates and just go with a 480. And again, over time, it will get better with DirectX 12 and Vulcan. Your 480 will carry you further. Where I'm at with it, if you play, if you really only play today's games and older games, if you prefer, you know, just retro gaming, the GTX 1060 is actually going to be the better way to go. And I would say go that route. Now, if you're playing today's games and you want to play games in the future, if you're lo looking forward to games like Battlefield 1 and, uh, you know, Mankind Divided, uh, new Deus Ex game and stuff like that, and going into next year, then I would say wait and get the RX 480 because it will perform better as time goes on, like Joe just said. So it, it really just depends on your usage, honestly. But uh, I just would not go ahead and spend $300 on a 1060 if they're not 250 or less. Or the, the consensus is 260 for a good AIB version is fine. You know, an extra 10 bucks, not a big deal. But anything past 260 most people on the internet would just say, forget it, and uh, it's not worth it at that particular price point. And I would agree with them. So, I mean, that's about all I have. Performance is good. It's it's nice to actually have competition in the market. This will keep the AIB uh, RX 480s from getting out of hand and charging three or 400 bucks. And hopefully once the 480s are in stock, that'll keep uh, NVIDIA's prices from going through the roof. But, uh, I mean, we'll see. This is the only market that there's actual competition right now. So this is definitely the best market to be buying for at the moment. Alrighty, guys, if you like this video, please like. If you have any questions, comments, please comment below. And if you like what we're doing here, please subscribe and share with your friends. That really helps us out. And uh, like I said, both cards are good. You really can't go wrong. It just depends on price availability. And uh, I hope you guys have yourselves a great day. Absolutely. Have a good day.